Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So tonight's video is about these little oscillators. Um, some people call them jewel thieves. And um, this is a coil from a really old one um, that I kind of made a whole new circuit for. And um, I, I have these on my website. So this is just a little tiny version of it. Um, you could replace the transistor as an off switch. And you could basically just plug in, you know, you could get these toroids real cheap on Amazon. You can plug these in and, and try them out. Um, this is circuit for a customer. And um, yeah, pretty cool. So this one is actually um, a bobbin with a, a couple toroids just stacked in there. And this is 26 wire. I don't even remember how many turns, but there's two 26s in there, but quite a bit. So um, right now we have it hooked up with the AA battery. And we'll be able to see how many amps so let's um let's fire this up. So we're using 22 milliamps right now with the 1A battery, and then we could turn this up to the pot here. Bring it up to 92 milliamps. But um, let's see how how bright this is with just one. So so this is just 1A, and then we could turn it up brighter. So this is 92 milliamp, so pretty damn cool. Uh, runs really good. So let's turn this light back on. So, so now what I want to do is um, what this is kind of designed for is use two A. So I'm going to take this off and let's hook up this right here with the two A's. I'll turn this off. Okay, so this is two AA batteries now, so basically three volts. And um, this is on the lowest setting, which is three volts at 53 milliamps. And um, yeah, super bright. And then this can actually go up quite a bit, so we'll bring this all the way up here. So almost 200 milliamps off. 2A battery, so 180 milliamps. But um, you can see how bright this is. This is like three quarter brightness um, regularly. These are 12 volt, 24 volt um, LED lights. And yeah, pretty cool. It's really nice. So turn off the lights for this side. This is super bright. So now what we're going to do is you take this off. Let's turn this down. Take this light off here. So now we're going to hook it up to this cap dump. These are the cap dumps that I sell on my website as well. So let's turn this thing on here. So now the circuit is oscillating. Um, this is just two coils, so there's no transformer effect or anything like that. Um, actually, we should do first is give you a little peek, to see how it looks on the scope without. Without it doing anything. So first, let's hook this up. So here's on the scope. So this is on the lowest setting. So um, or 10 volts per square, so 3 volts, and then this is the output right now that's going into this capacitor bank. And then if we unplug this, so you can see the full, full waveform. So unplug this, and now it's like completely off the scale. So we'll put this on uh, 10 times scale. So this is on the lowest end, so this is 37 milliamps, so we're just under 100 volts. And then if we turn this all the way up, now we're about 110, 120 milliamps, or 110 volts. Um, almost uh, 120. So let's turn this back down. So let me hook this back up here. So we're going to do is start charging this capacitor. 
So these are four 10,000 microfarad capacitors uh, with the MOSFET and the Zinger Tringer trigger. So this is our battery right here. This is just a 12 volt battery. This is a three three amp hour battery. And um, right now at the lowest setting, we're we're 49 milliamps, and you can see it kind of pulsing already. So this is at the lowest setting. So let's let's turn this thing up now. So remember, this is only three volts going into this system here. That's so about every five five to six seconds, something like that. But we're getting a full one amp out of there. And um, if you look at the battery voltage, every time it fires, it kicks it up quite a bit. So pretty neat little circuit. So let's turn this back down. So, so this is the circuit is put these off. So I just use a 2N222. This is a 1K um, resistor with a 5K pot and then a thousand volt diode. And um, yeah, it runs just like all my other oscillators. So thanks for watching.